Should women who are breastfeeding infants get vaccinated? How about women who are pregnant or planning to get pregnant, or women who are menstruating? Hello, and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith, and we are going to get these answers for you from WHO's chief scientist, Dr. Soumya Swaminathan, today. Welcome, Soumya. Hello, Vismita. Soumya, my first question to you is, women who are breastfeeding infants, what is the advice for them? Should they get vaccinated? Yes, the answer is yes. So women who have given birth and who are breastfeeding their babies can take the vaccine, should take the vaccine when it becomes available to them. There is no risk at all because all the vaccines that are being used presently, none of them have the live virus in it. And so there's no risk of transmission through the breast milk. In fact, uh, the antibodies that the mother has can go to the, through the breast milk to the baby uh, and may only serve, you know, maybe to protect the baby a little bit, but there's absolutely no harm. It's very safe. And so women who are breastfeeding can definitely take the vaccines that are currently available. Soumya, what about women who are pregnant or are planning to get pregnant? Yeah, that's really important because pregnancy, of course, is a very special situation because we're concerned about the health of the mother, but also about the health of the fetus, the unborn child. And so any drug or vaccine that is administered during pregnancy, we always ask, take special care to make sure that, you know, there is no potential safety concern or any adverse event. In the case of COVID, we know that pregnant women are at higher risk of getting severe COVID and also at higher risk of, de uh, of delivering a baby prematurely. So in situations where there is a lot of COVID transmission in the country and the woman is exposed to it, or if she's in a profession like a healthcare worker or a frontline worker there, where she's at especially high risk of acquiring the infection, the benefits of getting the vaccine definitely outweigh the risks. Particularly since the platforms that we used currently for vaccines are the mRNA platform, inactivated viruses, or the viral vectored platforms or subunit proteins, none of them have a live virus that can multiply within the body and that could potentially create a problem. So I think it's important that pregnant women in every country be explained the benefits versus the risks and be offered the vaccine um, if you know, they would like to take it. And it's probably the right thing to do in many situations, as I said, where the pregnant woman is at higher risk of getting the infection and where the vaccines would bring more benefits. Soumya, should women get vaccinated when they are menstruating? So there is nothing scientifically to really come in the way of a menstruating woman taking the vaccine, apart from the fact that, you know, she may feel a bit tired. But if that's the date on which you have a vaccine appointment and you happen to have your periods, there's absolutely no problem in going ahead and getting the vaccine. Soumya, we hear a lot of misinformation about vaccines and fertility and infertility. Could you please explain the science behind this? Yes, it's a common myth. And I should start by saying that there is absolutely no scientific evidence or truth behind this concern that vaccines somehow interfere with fertility, either in men or in women. Because what vaccines do is they stimulate an immune response against that particular protein or antigen of that virus or bacteria. So in this case, the COVID vaccines stimulate both uh, antibody response and a cell-mediated immune response against the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So there is no way in which they could interfere with the functioning of the reproductive organs in either men or women. So I think people can rest assured that these vaccines in no way interfere with fertility. Thank you, Soumya. That was Dr. Soumya Swaminathan in Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.